What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today is another episode of Chasing the Best Work Footwear. So I am constantly on the, uh, on the pursuit of uh, the best feeling boot on my foot, um, regardless of what exactly I'm trying to do. As you watch this series, and if you've followed along this playlist, you'll know that all of the shoes haven't been the same. I'm not chasing one composite work toe six inch um, like these thorough goods in front of you. Um, I'm not chasing just that kind of boot uh, or shoe for that matter. I'm chasing something that feels good, uh, is breathable, is kind of the best of all worlds. It doesn't necessarily need to be a safety toe. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a six inch, eight inch, or a uh, regular shoe uh, like the Destin Low Tops that I did in another video from Keen. Um, if you want, you can check it out up here in the card. Um, last time around, I did a review on the 8-inch Timberland Pro Gridworks boot. Uh, that is a non-safety work toe boot. Um, come in right around 180 bucks. Um, so I figured I'd give uh, the same kind of, I like that look, I like that style. And so that's why I picked up these Thorough Goods. Um, these Thorough Goods are uh, the 6-inch composite work toe. They have a composite shank. Um, they're a little bit more aggressive on the bottom. Uh, they're not that wedge style like the Gridworks are. Uh, I really, really like this boot. I've put about, I'm going to say somewhere around the 500,000 steps, uh, probably half a million steps uh, into, these, into these boots, and they've been great. Um, they've been absolutely 100% comfortable. Um, they breathe really well. Um, I like the look of them. They have the low vis or the high vis uh, uh, thing stitched into the front and back of them so they kind of glow. Um, they're really thick in the heel. They have the anti-roll uh, part in the back of the heel. That's really awesome. Um, you can definitely feel them uh, when you're walking around in them. They're a little bit tighter. Uh, this is one of my first pairs of Thoroughgoods and I'm thoroughly impressed. That, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, that was no pun intended there. But thoroughly impressed by these boots. Uh, and you know they're they're pretty darn good. I think this set came in at 150 bucks, so they are definitely less than the Timberland Pros, and I think they're just as well as a contender. I haven't weighed these things yet, but let's go ahead and weigh them right now on the scale here, and see where they come in. Okay, so they're right at two pounds. Okay, so I don't know exactly what the internet says um, if they even list it it's not listed on the website but two pounds okay so the eight inch boot from Timberland Pro came in at two pounds six ounces so I just took off almost a pound of my feet uh, right about 12 ounces so four ounces less of a pound off my foot uh, by switching to these boots so and that's even with picking up a composite toe a composite shank uh, which the Timberlands do not have. So you figure you're picking up a bunch of safety features and you're, you know, reducing the stress on your feet, on your back, on your legs, on everything just by switching to what is a cheaper boot. So I think this is definitely a better option than the Gridworks that I had before. And um, I think this is going to be definitely one of the, my favorite boots that um, that is in my lineup. Uh, I have worn them quite a bit and I do like them a lot. Uh, the only thing I have to complain about any six inch boot is that uh, it seems like any work pant will get will basically work itself up over the boot. So that's one of those things that you have to put up with in a six inch boot. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. If you do, put it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Um, I, I just find that my work pants, no matter what I'm wearing, uh, they come up over the edge of the boot and it's annoying. You have to con constantly um, readjust. So this is all I would have already rolled in the exact model number of these Thorough Goods. Uh, they have the uh, the non marring the non marring bottom on them. Um, they are uh, let's go through a couple of the things. Uh, polyurethane removable footbed. Um, they have the the EVA cushion flex. Um, of course, I talked about the composite shank, composite toe. Uh, they're they're basically non-metal. Um, they are I-75 and C-75 approved. 
tumbled oil full grain leather uppers. Um, they're tested and meets the uh, CSA 18,000 volt electrical shock resistance. That's good stuff. Um, they're uh, oil resistant and slip resistant. So, and they have the Goodyear Storm Welt construction. So good, good stuff. Um, I like them a lot. I think they do provide a lot more features for the money than those grid works from Timberland Pro. Although I still love those, they're pretty comfortable. I think as I wear these and continue to break them in, I think they're going to definitely uh, put those grid works boots to bed. So a different style boot, um, same, same look, but definitely a different style when it comes to the six inch with a composite toe. Uh, I really like these. So I hope you guys um, are, are liking this, uh, this series. If you, uh, if you want to talk any more or you have any recommendations for a, the next boot, um, I am already planning on the Keen San Jose, uh, another uh, mock toe from Thoroughgood. Um, let's see, what else am I... Uh, the Danner, there's a Danner um, boot out there that I'm planning on, and another Timberland Pro, um, a, a cheaper Timberland Pro. I can't remember what model it is. So I have uh, many up and coming, and uh, I hope to share them with you soon. Um, it's just I need to get some, some miles in the boots before I come out on review and say, hey, these are a yay or nay for me. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, I hope to see you click subscribe as I cover all kinds of man stuff. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.